Okay, but first of all, please press on that subscribe button. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, this is TechGirl007. I hope you're doing great. So today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to fix your mouse that is not working. So basically, first of all, what you want to do is you want to look at the back of the mouse. There's a little button in here which says on and off. Make sure that it's turned on. So you have to turn it on. Otherwise, if it's turned on and still not working, next thing you want to do is check for the battery. Sometimes the battery must have uh, run out. And so you want to just remove this and then put your new battery on. And obviously try to turn it on and off again and then that should hopefully be working and and still if it didn't work you need to go on your computer and look for some devices you need to update some of your devices okay of course you can't do this without having a mouse uh, but I would suggest you get an external mouse for this otherwise you're gonna have to use your keyboard to navigate through the pages of your um, computer I'll show you guys how to use this to use your keyboard to control your computer so it is kind of tricky if you haven't done this before but you will be able to do it with no issues okay all right so let's go ahead and see what we do now all right guys so to use your computer without the mouse uh, and to go to the mouse settings you want to go on to the computer and um, on the keyboard you want to be pressing this button which is the Windows button and this and then on the computer this window should uh, pop up <laughs> alright so basically in here you just wanna write device manager if you just write device it should just come up on its own okay so you can see it's highlighted in blue device manager you just wanna press enter for it to open now as you can see that it has opened now you want to be pressing the tab key to navigate to the options all right so then uh, now that you can see it's uh, highlighted the first option in blue now you want to go down 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 where you can see something like mice all right so now we're on the mice um bit there Right, now that you're on the mice options, you want to be pressing shift and the right arrow to expand the options for the mice. Uh, then you want to expand the window for that. So you want to be holding the shift um, key and then pressing the right arrow. Now that has expanded and then you want to uh, click press on the, the down arrow to get down to the second option and then you want to press enter. Alright, in here you can see a few tabs. Uh, I know that at the uh, in, in that little box it says the device is working properly, but obviously for you it's not, and uh, it might be working for me at this point and moment. So it's just for demonstration purposes only. Now you want to be clicking on the tab key to navigate to the um, other tabs pressing the tab key to be navigating to the other tabs okay that makes sense anyway that's not a problem so let's see okay so uh, I just want to show you okay now when I'm pressing on the tab key it's uh, uh, on the OK button and then if I press again it will go to cancel if I press again it will go to general and then from there if I press tab again it will come to ok again and then cancel and then tab and here um, to get to the right uh, tab on the screen uh, instead of keep pressing a tab and when you get instead of keep pressing the tab key um, once you get to the general you want to be pressing the right arrow so you can shift you to the other tab on the screen now you want to be coming down to where it says driver details okay and then uh, you want to press enter in here it just gives you some information just want to say okay then you want to come down on the next so you're going to be using tab for this uh, on the next option which is update driver so you want to press okay and here uh, you just want to be saying 
search automatically so you want to just press enter so it's going to be searching for any updates that needs to be done on the mouse and then it will just update it automatically it says in here the best driver for your device are already installed so it's already uh, been uh, updated because obviously i've recently done my updates so that's fine so you want to tap to close just press that and then you want to come down to disable device so uh, I wouldn't want to disable device because uh, at some point it will just stop me from uh, using the mouse altogether it will also not allow you to use the wide mouse so instead of disabling the mouse we're gonna go to uninstalling the mouse okay the reason we're gonna be uninstalling it because once we uninstall it and uh, after that we're gonna be turning off the computer and then uh, we're gonna be restarting it and that should actually um, get the mouse driver installed all over again because the reason it would do that automatically on the computer is because it was a default software that came with this computer and whatever you do to the computer say like if you reset it or do anything to it um, it will by default reinstall all the software that comes with it so you don't have to worry about it if uh, anything happens you'll have all the software that you already got on the computer you you'll still have it all right so now um, so you want to be selecting uninstall and then pressing yes and then after that you want to be selecting uninstall for now i'm not going to be saying okay um to the uninstall because i don't uninstall mine because mine's working fine i just want to be saying cancel and then pressing okay i just want to show you how to actually turn off your computer using your keyboard okay so uh, for this purpose we're just going to go and close everything so close and then we'll just leave this as it is and then you want to be uh, going on to the uh, Windows button again press on there and then in here you should get some options so I'm just navigating through uh, okay so as soon as you get to that uh, three lines on the top you want to be pressing the down arrow for it to navigate to the options at the bottom you see that square that's on the um, shut down option you just want to be um pressing ok and then this should bring up some details for you uh you should be getting these options update shut down you can just be doing a shutdown or whatever option you want to and then that should just do it for you okay after you selected what you wanted then you just want to press enter and that should be it all right so that's it for this tutorial now and i hope you liked it and it had made your mouse work back again and as usual okay take care guys don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and don't forget on the description of this video i've got some other uh, links and tutorials for you guys that you can explore and obviously watch share if you like them all there to help you guys resolve your issues and also on the description i've got my other channels um, link for you as well so you can go have a look at it you will find some natural remedies as well as some cooking in there i hope you like them and if you do please don't forget to subscribe and share or if you know anyone who likes cooking and stuff you can share it with them thank you bye